Hi. Mmm, denim. <laughs> wow, Guy. You look... Like a country and western singer. <laughs> What's all this? It's all part of the big surprise this weekend. What surprise? Is your passport valid? Yeah. Although I'm not sure customers will recognise me from it. I look about 21 in it. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> so, where are we going? I've told you it's a surprise. Well, give me a clue. Aha. Uh -huh. Norway. <laughs> well, at least tell me what kind of weather to expect so I know what clothes to pack. You don't need to bring any clothes. I've just cleaned out the King's Road. Yeah, I've heard at your age it's good to get that done fairly regularly. <laughs> what do you think? It's absolutely... I know. Isn't it? It must have cost... It did. I think there's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> wow, Guy, it's really generous of you, but I can't accept this. It's... unacceptable. <coughs> eBay! <laughs> no, of course you can. I'll leave all these for you to try on. I've got to get back to the club. My driver's downstairs. Bye, Poppet. Bye. So... You're just going to accept all this, are you, Sharon Stone? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's like that film, isn't it? I'll be wearing it with knickers. <laughs> Not that film. <laughs> Actually, just for a laugh. No. <laughs> I mean, Casino. The one where she plays a gangster's mole. Well, how much more blatant does it have to be? He's buying you loads of flash clothes, he owns a lap dancing club. Yeah, Lee. He's a gangster and I'm a post-op transsexual. Maybe forget doing the Sharon Stone thing, then. <laughs> so you're just going to parade round the flat doing a catwalk in clothes that Al Capone's making you wear, are you? He's not making me wear anything. <laughs> Actually, what do I know? I'll go and choose some music. <laughs> Surprise. That's just what I was about to say. What are you doing here? Then I was going to say that. Fred Truman's got monkey skittles on his Chuck Twizzlers. So you weren't going to say that, were you? Unusual place to be selling ice creams, isn't it? Thought it'd be good for passing trade. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll go somewhere else. If I'm lucky, I'll get the school run before the drug dealers get there. Go <laughs> on, Etta. On the house. We can't just turn up at Guy's office and accuse him of being a gangster. It's rude. That reminds me, I must remember to put that wet blanket out to dry. Oh, dear. Had an accident again, have we? <laughs> we'll do it subtly. We'll just say... Hello, Guy. Hello, Lee. There's a bloke tied up in the boot of my car. Oops! Wow, you're good. <laughs> Doesn't it worry you that your sister's going out with someone that might be involved in organised crime? That's the bit that bothers you, isn't it? The idea that he might be organised. <laughs> come on, Tim, come with me. I'm just trying to protect Lucy. Anyway, I need you there in case he does a Michael Jackson. Turns ugly. <laughs> That'll do. I don't think you'd like to hear my version. What's your version? Casey takes me to the top of a Ferris wheel and tosses me off. Well, I said you didn't want to hear it. How do you talk me into these things? I need muscle. <laughs> if there's one thing I think when I look at you, it's Mr Muscle. <laughs> Come on. Hello? Kill 
What have I done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? How did you know we were here? I heard you. We were whispering. And who taught you how to do that? Ian Paisley. <laughs> so you're not letting this gangster thing go, then? If we're going to talk about this properly, at least take the rest of the tissue out of your mouth. I have. Oh. <laughs> so where's Guy? He just popped down to the stables to measure up some heads for your beds. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. You wouldn't be laughing if you'd have seen what I saw first thing this morning. I bet I would. <laughs> Guy receiving a package in the back alley. <laughs> And he was looking round suspiciously. Well, you would. Oh, hi, this is a pleasant surprise. And Lee as well. <laughs> Just uh, come round for a bit of advice, actually. I need to send a, a package that's quite urgent. Cashier number five, please. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it isn't a post office, Lee. It's a lap dancing club. Sex booth number five, please. <laughs> It's just, Lee saw you having a package delivered this morning. I'm guessing that was a courier service? No, 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 that was Jerry, my driver. He was just dropping off my passport for this weekend. Passport? Yeah, it's a bit like your blockbuster membership card, but you get to go abroad. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you both out. Aren't there a couple of lollipop ladies you need to harass over a suspected dinner money racket? <laughs> So what exactly are you planning this weekend? It's a secret. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. 